Hello and welcome to the N3 Flight Controller tutorial series. In this video, we will teach you how to tune some of the main parameters of the control system for the N3 Flight Controller. Let's use the DJI S1000 Plus as an example. Power on the aircraft, then connect it to a computer via USB cable. Launch DJI Assistant 2 and enter the N3 Flight Controller dashboard. Click Flight Settings on the left menu bar and enter Propulsion Configuration. The S1000 Plus propeller is 15 by 5.2 inches in size, which is between the E800 and E1200, so you can tune the power bandwidth value to 110 according to this table. Let's choose Attitude Mode. Now fly the aircraft to any altitude and release the joysticks to check that the aircraft hovers stably. If the power bandwidth value is set too high, for example at 145, when releasing the joysticks, the aircraft will hover with a slow shake. When it's set too low, like at 40, the aircraft will shake with a high frequency. Keep adjusting the power bandwidth value until the aircraft flies and hovers stably, without any shake. Basic gain value describes the control output capacity of the propulsion system relative to the aircraft's inertia or weight. The four basic gain values are pitch, roll, yaw, and throttle. Let's use the roll gain value as an example. Enter propulsion configuration and set the roll gain value. High basic gain values will cause high frequency shake on the aircraft when hovering, while low basic gain values will cause a slow response and shake. For aircrafts with more powerful motor thrust, shorter wingspan, or lighter weight, the basic gain values should be set lower. You can also choose the most ideal roll, yaw, and throttle gain values following the aforementioned steps. The attitude gain value describes the speed of the aircraft's attitude response to the attitude input commands. A high attitude gain value will cause a violent attitude response, which may result in high frequency shake while the aircraft is hovering. A low attitude value will cause a slow attitude response. The attitude sensitivity describes the speed of attitude response to remote controller inputs. When attitude sensitivity is set too low, the aircraft will respond to the remote controller input slowly. Brake sensitivity describes the aircraft's brake speed. With lower brake sensitivity, the aircraft has a gentler brake and a longer braking distance. You can even set different values to see the control effects, choosing one that you are most comfortable with. Thanks for watching.